In this video, I will show you how I transform this image into this one. First thing to do is, of course, get rid of the background with the pen tool. Alright, so next thing I want to do here is to get this hair better. I want to smudge it with a brush. I will link this brush in the description of the video. So first thing to do here is to apply this layer mask. So we have one layer. And now I will just go to the smudge tool here. And I have this hair base brush in this brush pack. I will link this in the description of the video. Now here we can set the strength. So I don't want to have that 100. Let's do, let's say around 70% and start smudging. And this way I can create like this effect, like there's like hair blowing from the wind or something and it doesn't look flat. I also use this brush for for fur of animals sometimes, not always, sometimes when they have like longer fur. And this also works, as you can see, for, for hair. But don't do it here because if you can do it here, it's gonna ruin their hair, as you can see. So I'm just gonna do it at the edges to get a little bit of these hair sticking out on this side. Not too much, just a bit. Now, if you drop the strength here, a little bit less, make it bigger. Let's, let's just make sure you smudge in the same direction. So don't start smudging like that way because it's gonna get ruined. Just a bit like that. If you look close, it looks like bad quality, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna have it like zoomed out like that. What need to do is to brush a little bit here because you can see here it's getting blurred out really harsh on this edge. So what I would do here is to select the blur tool and let's keep the strength around 50 and just brush a little bit on this side. So it doesn't go from really sharp to blur at once. It need to be like kind of a gradient from sharp to blur. Let's also do here a bit of a blur area to make this look better because this looks a little bit too too blurred out. I think this is better. All right, now we can do is to just import this in a new file. I'm going to press Ctrl N, Command N on Mac and make a white screen image. So press create and now I can just select right mouse over the smart object and put this here. So this is the file we're working in. Now let's see. Let's press Ctrl T to resize this and maybe something like this. For now, I can always resize it later on. All right, the background I want to make dark, so I'm gonna create a new layer and add some solid color to it. Let's first make this black. All right, I got this image that I want to use. I don't want to use the whole image. I just like the bottom part here with this red light there going on. So. I can see we need to make sure these are the same. So I'm gonna press Ctrl L, Command L, Mac, select this one and click on that one. So that's fine. Just like this red little thing on the bottom. I think I like that. All right, next thing is to import this moon. I have this glowing moon here. This looks really nice. So what I would also wanna do here is to make sure this blue gets black. So I'm press Ctrl L or Command L bring up the level, select this again and just press on this one. And now I can just change this blend mode to screen and that's it. I can see here, you see how it ends, but if you put it here, it doesn't really matter. Let's make this bigger. So I have a nice moon on this side. All right, let's now see if we can make this a bit smaller like that. This really depends on what you want to have. So I think this also looks nice. Let's start brushing. I'm going to bring this a bit up like that. Let's also bring this one up. And let's make sure the lighting is right here. So first thing we need to do is to get some areas darker. This is way too light for this time of the night. So first I will do here is create curves. Press this thing here. And let's make this dark first. I think something like this. Like really dark. Maybe even like that and now I can just select the normal brush just go to the general brushes select the soft round brush and start with a black brush bring this all the way up to 100% make sure you have 
hardness at zero and start brushing some areas lighter so for this i would make this all light here let's leave the area behind the dark right here here side maybe also this hair here sticking out just around her that baby bit here bit here like that we also here here all right now i wanna do is add some feather to this so it doesn't have this like this horse edge i'm gonna add a little bit of feather in this in the settings here and even make this side lighter now let's edit this curve and give it a bit more contrast like that looks a lot better see if we play with the settings we can get exactly how we want it i think this is fine all right now we can drop some color from this it's some new situation here get some less color in her image just a bit less okay next thing we can do here is to add some glow to like the side of her so i'm gonna create a new layer and press right mouse create a clipping mask go to edit fill and fill this with 50 percent gray layer change this to overlay and here i'm gonna select the dutch tool and with the dutch tool i can make some areas lighter and for instance some side here lighter you see maybe i didn't cut out this hair so good so i can fix it later but let's first do the dutch here and make some areas lighter do some here just to get highlights of details of clouding her hair here just a bit that let's also do here here right i need to do this a bit more precise i'm doing it too fast now so try to do this like a bit precise on these areas where you're like straight straight line if that makes sense a bit here here so this was before and this after it's a bit too much so i'm gonna drop the opacity let's also do the same but this time for the burn tool so fill it again with 50 percent gray make sure to create a clipping mask change it off like again and this time i'm gonna select the burn tool i'm gonna make some areas here darker bit here so we have a nice beautiful contrast let's also do some hair the hair looks a bit flat now make these areas darker let's do mid-tones now drop the exposure we can get more details here if we do like these shadow areas of a clothing you get the nice details of everything bit here bit here let's work on the lighting here a bit before we go further so what i do now is to create another curves here and wanna make this a bit darker like that i think this needs to be a bit darker something like this a bit more contrast here like that i think this is better all right now we can do some lighter pictures so i'm gonna make a new layer and sample some color from this from this moon and make a dot like that and here i can change the blend mode to overlay or soft light let's first try overlay make this bigger this is maybe a bit too much but let's wait and this can also work so either this or this can see here this has a bit more contrast this is a bit softer so i'm gonna do soft light here press ctrl j to duplicate it and bring it also that side that's better maybe one more just for the moon itself like that change this one to overlay 
add some mist to this i have these mist brushes here i will link these brushes in the description of the video so if you just make a new layer and just drop some mist around her to give it a bit more like like a mysterious effect so it doesn't look too too empty now so what we need to do now is to just fill this whole composition with a lot of different stuff so usually mist works really good just don't do it too much a little bit here and there maybe like that let's see just gonna use a couple of different mist brushes here so I do this on separate layers so you can always like move mist around if you make mist here with a separate layer we can just easily move this around to another place let's put this behind her it there i'm just gonna duplicate this here maybe another one here i'm gonna have some mist on the bottom here i'm just duplicating all these layers actually it's better to not duplicate it but to use different mist brushes but whatever you won't see it that much here let's see a bit here so here let's make sure it's behind her there it's better and we all also get that orange effect to it when we put it there let's also add stars to this got this one this looks also pretty good but i'm gonna change it to screen here something like that just duplicate it ctrl j and move it to that side all right this looks pretty cool all right i got also this fire here let's add some fire to this i think this will look pretty cool we have some fire gonna just change blood mode screen and to fix that line here just press ctrl command l press on that one that's gone but that's really easy Let's put some fire here, duplicate this with Ctrl J and let's make some fire underneath her. But to make this look better, if you Google fire particles, stuff like that, you can find a lot of these images on a black background. So the only thing you have to do is to change blend mode to screen and you can just place them around the whole composition to get some nice particles flying around. It gives a bit more movement and depth in this image when you do that. So I'm not going to link these images in the description of the video these you can find yourself it's really easy just google images or some sites for images fire particles and you will find a lot of these kind of things so just place them around your image and you will get some nice movement in your image and also a little bit of depth if you make them bigger and smaller like that I'm gonna place a couple of these here in the front so we have nice things flying around her what I want to do here is to add a bit more glow to this fire here so i'm just gonna make new layers and select something like this yellow just make them like just make sure you drop the hardness here and make like this dot let's make this bigger and change this to screen and that's pretty much it and if you place those around these areas let's stretch out like that you can get nice glow here and there just like final adjustments you could do to make this look even cooler don't, just don't do it too much just some areas where lighting is coming from just duplicate this move them around like that maybe a little bit smaller there duplicate it move to the other side This thing got a lot of effects now, so at the end I will just open this up in Camera Raw filter and there I can do some final adjustments. So basically what I do at this stage of this process is to move things around and see how I can make things better. So I'm not going to record this, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do and after that I will show you what I do as final step here. Here was I applied one of my presets and didn't change anything just one of my presets to get these color tones so i will put this above here so you can see the difference so if you want to get these presets check the link in the description anyways from here i will just duplicate all this convert to smart object and this is like the final step that i always do first i will add some curves and 
make this even lighter and this a bit darker. Next I will do is, let's drop this slightly, it's a bit too much. Next I will do is press Ctrl or com no, Command or Ctrl Shift E to make a duplicated version. Convert this to a smart object and open this up in camera raw filter. And here I can do all the final adjustments. Usually I don't touch these. I don't need to touch those because colors are already right. And here I want to make sure everything looks good. So maybe make it darker like that. Increase this. Let's see, make this. This can be lighter. If we remove the texture, we get this soft kind of feeling image. Make it a bit more like something cartoonish. Let's see if this looks. All right, next thing I will do here is to add a little bit of luminance to make it even softer. Now, if I go to colors here, where is it? Here it is. And here I usually adjust these sliders because these are really important to find an image right. So usually I just slide them from left to right and see how it changes and then I just make up my mind and set them how I want to. So we can make this even lighter. Let's see, there's nothing. Some sliders don't do anything because you don't have that color in your image. So we just leave them. Next thing is this one. This is also pretty cool. You can get really different kind of tones to your image when you use these sliders. So let me check what's best here. I think it's too red now, so I'm gonna drop that one. Maybe even white. This is also really cool. But let's not do it too much. That and this don't need these. And last one the Q. Let's see. Usually I start from this side, but whatever. I didn't think of it. All right, that is enough. And we can also, let's see. What is that? Vignette, maybe some vignette. To make these side areas even darker like that. All right, that's okay. And now you can see the difference. So this was before, this is after. It looks a lot better now. That is usually the final step you want to do in this whole composition thing. So that is pretty much it. So thanks for watching. If you want to see how to export this in the best possible quality, check out this video. And until then, see you in the next video.